Hi, I'm Grace. From Virtual Fitness TV. Walking 1,000 or more steps a day is good for many things. This video is designed to have a natural virtual walk in the world's most beautiful locations. You can simply just walk in front of the TV, move the couch if you have to, and simply follow the step counter to reach the 1,000 steps. This video is also a perfect warm-up for a treadmill, or even an indoor bicycle. Get ready for a unique tour through one of Italy's most famous cities. Enjoy a tour through Pisa, a city in Tuscany in central Italy with amazing sights. Not only will you see the famous Leaning Tower of Pisa, but also the wonderful Piazza dei Miracoli and the Pisa Cathedral. Be left in awe by the beauty of these well-known sites and their surroundings. Here we are on a tour above the River Arno. The city is known for its many bridges above the river, as the Arno flows straight through the city and flows into the Mediterranean Sea. The city of Pisa is about 185 square kilometers big and has about 90,000 inhabitants. This is Pisa from above. A marvelous city with so much charm and history. Let us walk through a typical street of the city. You can definitely feel the Mediterranean vibes of this amazing place. Have a look at the warm colors of the buildings and the vivid sight of the streets. What a beautiful weather. The summers in Pisa are quite short, with an average temperature of 23 degrees Celsius. And the winters are colder and long, with temperatures around 7 degrees Celsius. In the background you have a sneak peek of the famous Leaning Tower. We will see the historic tower from different angles in a minute. Okay, let's keep going, the guy's waiting. This is the world-famous Leaning Tower of Pisa. The building of the Leaning Tower started in 1173. Originally, the famous tilt of the tower was not planned. This happened in the building process of the tower, as the ground is unstable due to sand and clay. Here you can also see the eastern end of the famous Pisa Cathedral, which is a beautiful Romanesque architecture. You can also climb the Leaning Tower. There are about 270 steps to get to the highest floor. The tower has an actual height of 56 meters. From the top you can enjoy marvelous views over the city. This is Pisa from above. Enjoy this kind of view over the city. On the right, we have the Pisa Cathedral from a different angle. And the marvelous building behind it is the Pisa Baptistry of St. John. The baptistry was built in 1152 in order to replace an older baptistry. It has an height of nearly 55 meters. As it is typical in Italian architecture, the baptistry is built of marble. The Baptistry, the Leaning Tower, and the Pisa Cathedral are on the Piazza del Miracoli, or also known as the Piazza del Duomo. The place is surrounded by walls and is about 9 hectares big. The name of the piazza was given by the Italian poet Gabriele D'Annunzio, as it was described as the Prado dei Miracoli in one of the poet's books, which means Meadow of Miracles in English. The history of this great city reaches back to ancient times. 
The origin of Pisa is still unknown. Although it is said that the Greeks, the Etruscans, the Pelasgi, and the Ligurians are the founders of the city. Here we are at the Palazzo della Caravana. It is a night square in Pisa. At the moment it houses the Scuola Norma Superior di Pisa, which is a university for higher education. It used to be the headquarters of the Knights of St. Stephen's. The building of this palace finished in 1564. The building next to it is the Santo Stefano dei Cavalieri, a church in central Pisa. The building also started in the 16th century. It has wonderful artwork by several artists within the church. Let's go back to the Piazza dei Miracoli to enjoy other beautiful views of the famous buildings. The orange-colored building behind the tower is the Palazzo dell'Opera. The palace is on the northeastern are of Piazza dei Miracoli and was originally home to the cathedral workers, such as the bell ringers or the gardeners. Nowadays, offices are in the building and also art exhibitions. Here you can see the piazza from above. See how the whole place is walled in a square. Enjoy these aerial views of the cathedral and the campanile. This is again the Pisa Cathedral, officially named the Cathedral of Santa Maria Assunta but also known as the Duomo of Pisa. It is a medieval Roman Catholic cathedral and the seat of the Archbishop of Pisa. The building of the cathedral started in 1063, during the Romanesque period and finishing up in the Gothic. The period of construction of the cathedral spanned three centuries. Despite a construction time of over 200 years, the consistent building material Carrara marble and the uniform facade design created an incredible coherent building. The Leaning Tower is the cathedral's freestanding campanile. Funny is that the name Pisa means marshy land in Greek, so this could have been a hint in the planning of the tower. Maybe this would have reduced the amount of the tilt. The tower began to sink over 10 years after the beginning of the construction process, when the second story was built. The builders continued their work and tried to compensate the tilt, but still, the tower sank. This was the reason that the work on the tower stopped for over a century. Still after that time, the tower was completed and the tower is especially famous for its tilt. In the bell tower, there are seven bells and each has a different ringing tone. The leaning tower is not the only one in the city. There are two other bell towers, which sank a bit so that the towers are also leaning. They belong to the churches St. Michel degli Scalzi and St. Nicola. In the 1990s there was a correction of the lean, as there was a risk that the tower could begin to fall. Before the renovations, the lean was nearly 10 degrees, and nowadays only a bit under 4 degrees. On the right you can see the Museo del Sinopi. It was also designed by Giovanni di Simone, who was also the architect of the Leaning Tower. The building used to be a lodging for pilgrims. Nowadays it is an art museum.
We hope you enjoyed this tour through the Piazza del Miracoli and the famous buildings which you can see here. Now, we wanted to enjoy the beautiful architecture in the beginning of this romantic sunset. Thank you very much for taking this tour with us.